Hi, this is Sushant Singh Rajput and you're watching Bollywood Hangama. Now, two more things. Um, I think you have some, some, some amazing supporting actors and all the guys who played your friends uh, and uh, both in the railways as well as uh, in your childhood days, I think they were fantastic. Something about their contribution, I think it's important to have like a good support cast to just even augment your own performance. Of course, no, it's my belief mm. and that's why I did a film called PK also. I don't think that they are supporting characters and they are, there is a main character. Of course, in terms of time, you can say that. In terms of what he does that uh, brings to the conclusion of the film, you can say that. But when a scene is happening and you have co-stars, they are equally important to make everything go live. You know what I'm saying? And they have this, if you are fortunate enough to have good co-actors, um, they have this ability to take your performance to some other level which you can never ever plan. Mm. Because if you are alive and prepared and you're doing what you're supposed to do, and suddenly my co-actor uh, does an improv, which I'm not planned, uh, ready for, and I'm listening, I'll re react to that in a completely fresh way, mm. which I can never plan. So when you plan, you dilute the reality of it. Absolutely. Um, but when this happens, you come up with something and actually people think that you are acting. Surprising element is there. But what you are doing is you're just listening. So yeah, all each and every actor, is very very and equally important. The two love stories, um, I think both of them, they are, they are short, but definitely both both the girls and the love stories, they, they create an impact. Are you happy with the, with, with the performances of both the girls, Disha as well as Kiara and uh, apart from that, uh, both are cute in their own way and I think both are interlinked in a way as well. True. Somewhere they get and I think uh, they are very new as well. I mean, mm -hmm. Like Disha was a first film, first film and yeah. Kiara's was second. To understand what is required, mm. to know that you don't have many scenes to uh, get to the mm, uh, bottom line of your character and portray it. Disha's character, when she dies in the film, what was required was me as the character and the audience to feel for her. It is very different, uh, very, uh, very, very difficult in those many scenes to actually create that impact that you start feeling for me. Correct. She did it. The second was uh, Kiara and I still remember that, although I was not there, but I still remember the phone conversation. It defined the entire uh, character. It has to be so effective that this guy who's got this Teflon coating on him, done nothing uh, affects him. He keeps the phone down and he's also thinking about somebody else at that point of time. Mm. He keeps the phone down, but it has gone here and he proposed this to And with Kiara too, mm. I mean, like, it was the same thing. Mm. I think though defining the scene that completely defined the character was the phone conversation that we have where I, when I proposed to her. So two things. Number one, to get that right. To an extent that this character who doesn't get affected by any emotion that much decides that he's going to marry her and propose this to her which was quite in place. Mm. I mean, like, I think it was terrific, the performance. And the second thing is that in just two, three scenes and a song probably, you need to convince me as an audience that you can actually do that. Uh, so create that pattern so that that doesn't look that jarring. Ji. So she also, I mean, like, very, very effective. I mean, like, it's kudos to both of them because they are not that experienced actors, but mm. they were just so good in the film. Absolutely. Now, coming to uh, a bit of criticism. Most of the reviews have been extremely positive. I read a few reviews which, which were not so positive and I found them a bit funny as well because somehow I felt that maybe they've, they've seen two different movies. And uh, we read public opinion both in India, both in Mumbai, uh, single screen as well as multiplex. They were extremely positive. We also did a public opinion in San Francisco. We do in USA for bigger movies. That was extremely positive as well. Still, let's come to a f at least a couple of points which which people have which people have said. One was that maybe uh, in a biopic, people people tend to ex expect some sort of maybe some some loopholes of a person as well, maybe some flaws as well if, if if they can come across. I felt certain flaws were definitely discovered. Like he was he was quite uh, self-centered and he just wanted things his his own way and everything, which which is in a way fl flaw as well. Some people can say that he was very focused. Do you feel that uh, it's like a fair criticism that maybe more flaws can have been discovered no, as well and make it more it's, convincing? It is just not. Mm. Mm. Because I think I've read all the books that are there 
that are printed on uh, every genre of film mm. and uh, nowhere mm. it says that a biopic means you need to include everything. I believe mm. that if four or five different directors are making a film on the same guy, we can have four or five different films. Mm. The events would be same, but the way they are looking, the things that they are punctuating, and there's a pattern to it. So the most important thing is, as a director, what I want to say, what I want to punctuate. Mm. This story talks about this guy from this very small city making it so big. Mm. This film talks about dreaming big and mm. for some reason get, be, becoming so sure that's going to happen without the backing of history. And uh, this film talks about that he doesn't change. So in all these three things, there needs to be a pattern. I don't think that uh, that was required. So first of all, biopics should have uh, uh, loopholes. Get me a book that says that. I mean, it's not there. And mm -hmm. two, uh, the, what Neeraj was trying to communicate through the film, it, was, it wasn't required. Yeah.